Britain, Britain, Britain. Did you know we're widely regarded as a shopkeeping nation of the world? But how can we keep our nation if we don't have any shops? Now, we've just come out of a massive pandemic and our economy suffered, as did education too, but we don't need no education. <laughs> During the lockdown, I think we all did our fair share of online shopping, simply because it was right there at our fingertips at a time when nothing else was. But with the growth of online shopping, however, the high street became as decrepit as a club-footed lame man with a broken crutch. It est left behind. I, for one, have noticed that slowly the high street has become more like a wasteland filled with the undead. The other week, I go down to my bank and I see a woman in mini mouse pyjamas and a dressing gown <laughs> in a bank. When did this become the social norm? What happened to the ladies in humongous hats, wicket baskets, waving hello to everyone they see? Well, people started using apps like ASOS, Boohoo Man, so they wouldn't have to see that the likes of that ghoulish Minnie Mouse woman. But they were putting in the same amount of effort as Sleeping Minnie, which was none at all. Now, this was great for the big corporations, such as FedEx and Amazon, who all have innumerable amounts of sweatshops all around the globe. But it was a travesty for the small independent businesses that make up the high street. All shops have to pay something called business rates, which is essentially just thanking the council for maintaining the roads and whatnot. But since online shops are scooping up customers as if they were ice cream at a parlour, there's no shops for these small independent businesses. They're paying the council to not have customers. And eventually, they have no choice but to shut down, and the high street only becomes more desolate than before. I want you to think back to what markets used to be like, congested with people, all competing to buy the same luxury item, whether that be luxurious silks or fattened cattle, precious beads. Now, the market is a plague pit for the failed shops that couldn't make it through the harsh pandemic. And all we can do about it is fill the pocket of Jeff Bezos even more. But that's fine, because I'm sure Jeff Bezos has never spent his money in exploitative ways before. <laughs> I propose we protect these small independent businesses so that in the future, you might be a business owner of your own. You could employ your local sleeping mini and give her a reason to get dressed with her best foot forward in the morning. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be someone's boss or just a humble shopper like all those before you. We need the high street to be how we want it. Dress our best, intent to be seen in the shops we want. And we can't rely on Jeff Bezos or the government to do this for us. We need to get out of our Disney pyjamas and we need to do it ourselves.